Is it an insult to the voters of Jammu and Kashmir, this engaging with the Huryat? That's the question that we are asking on debate number two. We say good evening to Sanjay Jha, spokesperson of the Congress, Sambit Patra, Dr. Sambit Patra, national spokesperson of the BJP, joining us from Delhi, Nizamuddin Bhatt, leader of the PDP, joining us from Srinagar, Junaid Matua from the National Conference, also joining us from Srinagar, and Rashni Kher, founder member Roots in Kashmir, joining us from Delhi. Good evening. Thank you for joining us on debate number two, Dr. Sambit Patra. The consultation talks should be with the stakeholders. So why is PDP engaging with the Huryat? No, I would not know whether the PDP is engaging with the Huryat or not. If they are engaging with any separatist element in order to take a call from them, I would denounce that also. But as I was hearing your show, I came to know through the spokesperson of PDP that it was just a social visit. So I would refrain from commenting on what kind of visit it was, but I make my stand absolutely clear that the separatists have no business of dictating the politics of Jammu and Kashmir. And as far as the okay. Bharti Janta Party stand is concerned, it is very clear. The stand of Jam uh, Bharti Janta Party is we contested 76 seats out of the 87 So Sambit Patra, will you, will you be okay with going ahead and allying with someone who's hope. hobnobbing with terrorists? Uh, with separatists, pardon me? So definitely we would not have an ally with anyone who is hobnobbing with terrorists, if that is the sentence. With separatists, pardon me. Complete, I've completed the sentence. Uh, see, I told you, I mean the separatists should not have any dictating terms in the uh, Jammu and Kashmir government formation and I believe none of my co-panelists would disagree with me on this. First ask the PDP participant whether they were hobnobbing with the separatists in formation Fair of the Fair enough, Mr. Rizabuddin Bhatt, what was the purpose? When government formation is the thing on every <laughs> party's mind in Jammu and Kashmir, why have an hour-long meeting with the separatist leader? Your patron in chief, no less. Chief spokesperson, our, listen to me, please. Chief spokesperson of our party has made it abundantly clear that it was a social call. The two leaders are friends. They have been class fellows, and we are wedded in a social ethos. Kashmir is known for such interactions. We go do visit each other. If we have an affinity, we are known to each other. There are always personal concerns too, which one would like to interact with. Mr. Bhatt, would you friends. really expect people of I Kashmir to be so naive, Rashni? Bad in it. Do you think this Why is you a plain social call, a one-hour well, long uh, meeting well, when government formation well, is in the air in well, the valley, well, sipping well. tea, 31st of December? Friends, friends, do sit relaxed. Can friends, do do sit relaxed. They can discuss anything, sir. But Sir, that doesn't mean that Mr. Uh, Bhatt, one influence... Mr. Bhatt, listen to Rashni Kher also. Yes, Rashni. That yes, timing, the, the, the timing is very suspect. The timing is very suspect. If he can... The timing is very suspect. And two, it is not just what... Uh, if, if they met as friends, if you uh, hear what Mr. Ghani Bhatt had to say after mm. this, this was very strange because he talked of lizards being chased by bulls and snakes marrying rats. So this was a, hmm. there was a political context to what he said. Having said that, we have also remember the statement of Abdul Ghani Bhatt in 1996 when he said, how can you hear the music of elections and the booming of guns? And I am also told that after Mr. Ghani Bhatt has been slapped by Yasin Malik in that Hurriyat meeting, he is consistently being neglected by Hurriyat and is trying to find a place for himself. So, I don't know the context, but the timing is very suspect. Even if they are friends, the, yes. the statement that he made after he came out was very, very suspect. And, and, no, and, was, and there was no suspicion there. That separatists there, are there, trying there is to no, There was no suspicion are, there, there Rashik here. Allow, just, allow me to speak, sir. Allow, I'm, I'm just sir, quoting allow, what he sir, said. Sir, allow me to speak. I, I'm sir, just, allow me yeah. to speak. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Sir, allow me to speak. I will quote. Shall I quote to you what he said? No, Shall I'm going to quote it to Mr. Bhatt. Rashnik here, I'm just going to quote it to Mr. Nizamuddin Bhatt. I, Abdul Ghani yeah. Bhatt said that yes, Mr. Nizamuddin, snakes do. can marry rats bull, and bulls can chase lizards. Anything can happen with reference to government formation. But at present, we can say, let's not count stars which lie beyond. So clearly, it was not a cup of tea that was sipped. I was trying very hard to exactly. believe what you said, Mr. Nizamuddin Bhatt, but I had why, this why, quote right why, in front of me. You, why Couldn't don't believe you understand? it. Yeah. You see, why don't you understand? He is a person very conscious about the situations, when you ask him to react, he will react. That doesn't mean 
that we have exchanged views on government formation or sought uh, each other's help or assistance for one or uh, another thing. Why, why do you attribute Anand, it to can that I intervene, statement? please? He is free to react. Yes, yes, he has reacted. Once he was asked sir, something. Sir, the question he is, is free to react to a particular why, why the sudden... The he has not said... Sir, he has not the said timing anything. like Rashni Kher what said, transpired between Mr. Nizamuddin Bhatt, like the said. timing why is so suspect. Anand, Anand, I will just quote one more line. Let Rashnik respond to that. Yes, I will just quote one more line. And, and, and what is bad in just, this? Just one more line. Yes, Rashnik. Anand, can I quote why one more yes, line? Yes, Rashnik. A meeting of it says he said he said the polls have no capacity or authority to undermine the dissent of the people who have been struggling for their rights for decades. Now this is a context in which in which he is putting the polls. He is raising a question mark on the constitutional validity of the polls itself. Hmm. But that does not. I know this after the after the friendly meeting. He has Let me also get in Sanjay Jha. Sanjay Jha and then Junaid yeah, Matu. Sanjay Jha, do you buy into Mr. Bhatt's argument that it was just a little little uh, uh, conversation that two friends decided to have on New Year's Eve just sitting today. together? At no political context whatsoever? To give, get into the past and or is Mr. Bhatt actually acting as an intermediary uh, for the grand alliance that has been proposed uh, by the see, Congress see, in the valley? <coughs> what grand alliance you are talking about? Why are you confusing people? Uh, see, Padmaja, the truth is that although you had a very historic uh, turnout, uh, we have had we a fractured have mandate. No single political party has got a comprehensive mandate to form the government in Jammu and Kashmir. Now, if you look at the two principal parties which have got the maximum number of seats, the BJP and the PDP, but they are ideological opposites. I mean, you know, you don't see any compatibility between them San on core, mm. very fundamental issues like Article 370, Sanjay Jha, even the Sanjay Sorry to interrupt you. Now, the the, that was not that the intent. Today is if you look at the separatist issue. Sanjay Jha, just, just give me one minute. I, I know. I, I'll, I'll allow you to complete. Issue, I'll allow you to complete. Please allow me to give always, you a quick rebut. PDP has always Just a quick intervention, sir. With, the with all due respect, Mr. Jha. Can I? Can I? Coming to you, Samit Patra. Coming to you. Coming to you, Samit. Samit Patra, I'm just, I'm just, Samit Patra, just a sec, just a sec. No, he just said that the PDP and the BJP are two ideologically different poles apart parties. How are they engaging with each other? But I am quoting Mr. Abdul Ghani Bhatt saying that we are friends who studied together at the Aligarh Muslim University, but we belong to two different ideologies. So, if two people who belong to two different ideologies can be very good friends, sit and have a cup of tea, why can't two parties who have been given the mandate, one by Jammu, the other by Kashmir, sit and look at together, of uh, working together on a common minimum program perhaps for the benefit of Jammu and Kashmir? So, that argument does not stand. What does not, what cannot be acceptable is that the stakeholders right. in this case, Sanjay Jha, are the BJP, uh, uh, the PDP, uh, uh. the National Conference, somewhere the Congress, but not the separatists. So, why engage with somebody who is not a stakeholder in a democratic process? Mm -hmm. That's the question, especially around the right. time when you are going to decide to form the government. Yes, Sanjay Jha. Well, uh, Anand, in, in, in a very succinct fashion, let me try and respond to you. You see, the PDP has always in, it is taken a public position and it's repeatedly made political statements saying it favors dialogue with separatists, it favors dialogues even with Pakistan. Now, you look at the, the Modi government called off the talks, the foreign security level delegation talks with Pakistan, the issue of Huryats being engaged in a conversation. So, as for the so, BJP, so the Congress, the Congress was ready to ally with the PDP and the, the, and the, and the National the Conference just to keep no the BJP how, out. No so, you are ready to compromise at any point. So, are you trying to say that two parties cannot come and work out a common minimum program, Not keeping really. out the sticky issues aside? Yes, Dr. Patra. See, all I wanted to say was. I mean, look at the Congress. No, unlikely. This is absolutely because because ridiculous. You cannot keep an issue. Please, uh, like Sanjay Jha, allowing Dr. Patra to be the back burner for six years. There can, is a Hindu. Sanjay, can yes, I answer? Dr. Patra, go ahead. Oh, well, yes. Sanjay, please don't digress from the topic. Can I answer Wait, if you Wait, Sanjay Patra, me? yes, go ahead, make your point. Yeah, I do not understand as the reason as uh, to why ahead, the Congress ahead. is shouting the at the top of its voice. When, it, when, it, when in fact it has got no mandate in Jammu and Kashmir. And if I am allowed to use a dialect from Hindi, I would say, Begani Shadi Mein Abdullah Diwana. 
I mean, if the bull and the lizard are get, getting married, why the ant is so worried? Let them get married. Who, why are you preempting who is getting married? Don't, get, don't, don't be so excited about others' marriages. Please introspect as to why you lost Jammu and Kashmir election. You should not be worried about who is forming the government, who is not forming the government. Because people of Jammu and Kashmir do not want Congress to be in the government. May I ask you, Dr. Patra? The people Dr. of Jammu and Kashmir would also not want Dr. Patra, to be in the government. To be taken from separatists, just a second, the just GDP a second. Let me complete my two sentences. You are not some this seat in Ladakh. And you got wiped out in the valley. Let me complete two sentences. Party played Congress is for just a second. Sanjay, if you can please you allow me. This new year, let us have truce. This new year, let us have truce. Let us not encroach into each other's time, if you allow me. No, let's not, please, let's not decode the election results over here. The question here was very simple. Why should permission be sought if the PDP is going to go ahead and ally with the BJP, if that's even a possibility, Sambit Patra, and that is being negotiated? Why go and seek the permission of separatists who are not even stakeholders in government formation? I'm coming to that. Who have no stake whatsoever in the democratic process in the valley. No, I'm coming to that, Padmaja. But all I want to say to Congress, finally, in this debate is, why the Congress is in perpetual search of a surrogate mother in Jammu and Kashmir? I mean, it's always finding a lap on which lap the Congress would sit and go for a kind of uh, proxy dictation kind of government over there. For 12 long years, we have seen that's what Congress has done in search of surrogate motherhood in, in Jammu and Kashmir. But as far as PDP you know, Anand, and the separatist thing Anand is concerned, let me be very clear. I would so not like to preempt as to how the government would be Kashmir. formed. All I was saying was we had contested 76 seats of the 87. We had got the most the number of popular yeah, votes the in Jammu and BJP, I'm going to request both Dr. Samit Patra and Sanjay Ja to please wait in. I am Kashmir. going to bring in the national conference into the debate also. Junaid Matu has been giving a patient listen in terms of desperation to get into Jammu and Kashmir politics or stay relevant in Jammu and Kashmir politics. The desperation is on both sides, the Congress and the BJP. So let's not talk about that. But Junaid Matu, what is with this engaging with the separatists? We saw a national conference also try to do that before the election, soon after the elections, the meeting happened. This one, it's a democratic process. Why this engagement with the separatists? What's your point of view here? What meetings of the national conference are you talking about? Right. Junaid Matu, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm asking what meetings of the national conference are you referring to? No, there, there were meetings of national conference leaders who were engaging with separatists, who were meeting with them, who were speaking to them. So, so both parties engage, but I'm Which asking meetings? you, why engage with separatists in the first place? Especially in terms no. of government formation you said and a democratic the process. TV, I'm asking you which meetings. You know of a meeting with, between you know of a meeting between Professor Butt, which has been officially uh, accepted, and uh, Mufti Saab. What meetings of national conference are you referring to? It is even the references are, are are before the route happened in the election. So let's talk about what has happened today. So what's your point of view at this point? There has been no route. We've had 21 percent of the vote share, and PDP has 22 points. And there is no route. You need to study the election results. Uh, we uh, don't uh, need to condone, condone or condemn who the PDP is meeting. Um, the, the gentleman from the Huriyat has said it's a social visit. PDP has made out to be a semi-social visit, semi-political visit. They are the ones who leaked it to the media. Uh, the poor separatist leader was invited on a premise of a social visit and eventually a PDP leader himself went to the media and leaked it to the media. Uh, which Why do you think that happened? With me. I have no do you think it's, it's, a, it's an attempt, Junaid Matu, to try and dictate terms to a possible alliance partner? Uh, various reasons. I mean, if you want me to, you know, analyze this, you know, very objectively, uh, could be various reasons. It is very evident. Everybody knows PDP leaked it. Uh, they invited him on a premise of a social visit and leaked it to the media. The, the leader, uh, the separatist leader himself acknowledged this, knows, knows this. Uh, What's the reason behind I that? I don't know. I mean, probably to kind of pretend or posture, pretend or posture some sort of, uh, you know, uh, a, a moral legitimacy uh, before uh, moving ahead in the negotiation with the BDP. What, what do you mean by but moral purely legitimacy? As a Kashmiri from, voice, uh, but purely as from, a Kashmiri voice, Junaid, don't you think that a party which has been given the maximum number of seats in Jammu and Kashmir 
going and talking to a political outfit, talking to an outfit, a body which has given a poll boycott call, uh, is going against the very mandate that people of the state have given to this party? Why would the PDP do that? Don't you think that in itself is insulting well, the voter who's something. turned out and let, voted in let, Jammu let, and Kashmir? Let, let, me, let me tell you something very clearly. Let me talk as an analyst here. Uh, it is, if at all, I mean, you can disagree or agree with the premise of the separatists talking to New Delhi. But let us uh, not be fooled by the PDP into believing that the separatists will have to talk to Mufti Saab in order to talk to Delhi. Uh, if they want to use that rope to climb the alliance, uh, then they can try that. I mean, uh, first uh, they will try to kind of uh, use the Indo-Pak dialogue thing, which is a principal stand, which is our principal stand too. But it is not a stand that one uses to you know, gives a legitimacy or uh, some sort of a, a moral support, if I may say, to an alliance. You know, if you want to forge an alliance, don't waste the time of the people of Jammu and Kashmir. Go ahead, be confident, forge an alliance. These kind of antics are not needed. No, wh why are you calling it an antic? Why, wh what did you mean by moral obligation? Planned, you you, uh, you, uh, you used a very, a very complex term. Please simplify it for our, uh, for our viewers. Are moral there layers within layers which are counting? Is, is there a subtle uh, necessity to engage with the Hurriyat and the separatist leaders <coughs> before any major decision is taken by the leading parties of Jammu and Kashmir? No, no. There is no necessity. There is, there, is, there, is, there is no necessity. You know, a party has a principled stand. I think our party has that stand. Their party has that stand. That engagement, mm. political engagement should happen rather than the operational management of the co conflict. Uh, but uh, when I speak about moral legitimacy, I'm not saying that I believe it is morally legitimate or, or you need to go and seek the blessings. I'm saying it's some sort of, uh, you know, uh, kind of portraying uh, that, that, that uh, you know, if you go with the BJP, there will be people who question you in the valley. So let's sign kind of, you know, invite a, so a separatist leader for a social visit. And Seek that kind of legitimacy. And a, a very interesting point uh, that you've raised, you know, Junaid Matu. And I think Rashni Kher wants yeah. to elaborate on that and really explain what it is that the PDP is yeah. trying to do here, Rashni. Yeah. You know, I, I, it is, it is very, very, you know, it is very disingenuous to, of PDP to, you know, kind of seek this comma, inverted comma, or this moral legitimacy from a separatist a party that uh, uh, Hurriyat itself as a conglomerate has always been a spoiler to say uh, the least in Indian elections, in elections held in, uh, in Kashmir. So to seek some kind of a moral legitimacy is, is really, I mean, it's, it's, it's not just disingenuous, it's anti-national also at the same time. But having said that, there's one very important, are they trying to convey to BJP and to India at large that if you don't accept our conditions then we are going to do this, 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 this. We will meet separatists or we will up the anti. That is very, very mm. sad. If that is what they are trying to do, then yes. Then what we are doing is we are insulting all those people who came out to vote and who, you know, despite threats from uh, terrorists and separatists came out Absolutely. to vote. Absolutely. Mr. Bhatt, would you want to respond to that? that? Is that this is, what is, the entire attempt was aimed at? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I would like to because... Uh, the derivations are uh, unfortunate. Uh, they have been, they have stretched the de debate too far and are reading too much in this visit. Uh, we don't need uh, certificates. We are a genuine political party who have gone to the people with an agenda and have got majority. We have the moral authority to talk about government formation. Unlike national conference, which has on the but one hand been extending support, you see, uh, like national conference, which have on the one hand been extending support, uh, making a posture that they are facilitators to a coalition, uh, to the government formation, and on the other hand, trying to be a spoiler. I, uh, this is a double speak, and those who say, that uh, we are seeking uh, a moral but support. Sir, I don't know what you're talking about. From we people have like separatist support. That also, support that also is a wrong derivation. A of we course, we don't exclude them. You see, please, please listen to me. Listen to me. I didn't no, no, interrupt. Sadly, you are not I didn't interrupt. Uh, let me uh, let me complete. Speak on this I am answering to a question, Mr. Motu. We I am answering to a question. We are Please we have don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Support, Let me complete. Unconditional support. Why are you I have to why make are, my viewpoint known. Yes, yes. I Mr. have Mark. to. I have to make my viewpoint known. Please. Question. You are trying to deflect. 
प्लीज लिसन टू मी देर इज एन एंकर डोंट ट्राई टू बी एन एंकर यू आर एन इक्वल पार्टिसिपेंट डोंट ट्राई टू बी एन एंकर वॉट आई से इज दैट वी डोंट नीड एनी बडी सर्टिफिकेट वी आर अ पीपल फ्रेंडली पार्टी वी विल टेक एवरी स्टेप दैट मीट्स द एस्पिरेशन ऑफ अवर पीपल that mr bhat so there is a feeling the demand there is a the feeling time. from non political voices we have, what we have enough, we have enough wisdom, that you are a little wary we, we that going with the bjp region. that possibility yeah. may dent your vote bank which is why you went to the, the separatists do, seeking do, a sort of certificate kindly, junaid mattu uh, also wants to respond to that kindly ka, kindly don't uh, mix yeah please give me 2 seconds please don't don't mix but sir mr bart mr bart please take a listen to what junaid mattu has to say then i'll come to you mr bart two things mr bart pause pause for pause for just 30 seconds and i'll come to mr bart nizam sir please listen to me don't confuse nizam sir you should also learn how to listen to others i we have authorized we have issued unconditional moral support to you now if you are thinking that we are playing a spoiler in your alliance forging with the bjp we have no interest in spoiling your relation with or your budding relation with the bjp we you you have a right to go with the bjp please go ahead and form an alliance our offer of unconditional support stays if you if it if you think this is us being a spoiler then our f- offer would not be unconditional right. now mr bart ribart junaid mattu as to why did you say they are playing a spoiler Why we have no reason to spoil your relations with Mr. the bjp let's please listen please to mr bart junaid let's listen to mr bart yeah mr mattu listen to me why are you trying to instill a fear in me that we are going to have a dialogue on government formation with bjp we have to go, try every option our leader no fear has you have a right to do it please do it and he ideological strength to go ahead he will take a decision which befits people okay sure the, go ahead Wha- who is stopping okay. you mr bart but but but, but mr bart but, but may i ask you a question us, don't you okay. just how to go with no, no, the dialogue okay. what can how you tell our viewers since you we say since you say you, since you say that we are making Congress, too many derivations who can teach the guru of these are the disciples so so i am taught what was the agenda no mr mr nizam bhat sir mr bhat of unconditional support is there for you what was the agenda of this 60 minute meet with with abdul ghani bhat agree please, you want to reject to it you want to accept mr nizamuddin bhat is your right then go ahead our no, no. office there for you no no mr nizamuddin bhat don't make a noise don't make a mr. noise mr nizamuddin bhat right my noise. question to you is sir what noise we, but, but, but that doesn't mean we are taking a decision yes you right. do we you are do. assessing well one dis- but the sad part Pro- okay junaid mattu nizamuddin bhat pause pause i have a, i have a news alert to share i have a news alert to share mr mr nizamuddin bhat and junaid mattu i have a you are the national conference uh, the former chief minister of jammu and kashmir omar abdullah has tweeted that uh, the national conference no way is engaging with the bjp we are not in any kind of talks with the bjp he's just put it out on twitter but uh, that's just an alert but what i'm going to come back to mr nizamuddin but on is what was the agenda but for that 60 minute meet sahab was the first person from jnk to meet bjp leader no but he has put it out on twitter he is not speaking to them any more the sir sir, sir he is he is tweeted right now i am just saying what i am asking you is sir what was the agenda of this 60 minute meet t does not last for 60 minutes sir but and and if no politics call, was discussed no government us? formation was discussed why is call, it that abdul ghani bhat came out and spoke and only it, about government formation only about way forward only about I, his opinion about should what should be done one question should i pose you one question yes sir if a separatist comes to a mainstream leader even on a social call hmm. and cho- chooses a timing where many things are going to happen hmm. is this a defeat or victory You see, no. I would not like to say this because I. It is the timing, sir. The, mm, it is the timing when the separatist leader I chooses to make this visit. Whether he chose to make the visit, whether he was invited over, it, those are those are those are the questions gesture. that are being asked. And why? Okay, you just, just, just around the corner. I think Rashneet yes. wants to answer that. Just around Rashneed the corner of the time. Then we'll have a question to Sambit Patra as well about this mysterious what, meeting that has taken place. Rashneet, yes, quick point. Can I, can I please quick come? Quick point. Point. Then to Junaid Mattu. Rashneet, go ahead. Yes, yes, yes. Padmaja. Just two seconds. Padmaja, I will. I will. I have one more. One question to him. Junaid Mattu, I'll come to you. Let Rashneet make his point. If this gentleman came on a visit, Rashneet, just two seconds. Just. Yeah, yeah. If this gentleman came to have tea with you, what was the point in giving this one? 
one page statement after this why did why did he have to speak about all these things about elections and saying they are not the final arbitrator of constitutional validity in india if he simply wanted mm. to have tea he should have had tea and left but then after this he is making such pronouncements which are not just questioning the validity of elections but putting a question mark on pdp's meeting with him itself absolutely it was a, it was it was a clear political statement junaid mattu yes your question is point? mine yes yes uh my question Coming is to directly to mr nizamuddin but he says that nc's offer of support is a spoiler when you say offer of support is a spoiler you belittle it you undermine it I, and you qualify it is this. mr but authorized to speak on these issues what on behalf said, of his party because mehbooba ji said only Niza, uh, uh, only name name akhtar saab is supposed to speak now is he speaking for himself or is is he speaking for the pdp people. you may try you may try that i don't mislead people what i said is that on the one hand sir you have you lost an election stop talking like that to stop, the have some humility sir you have you have some humility have some support. humility on the other hand you are making statements in the context of sir are you speaking on behalf of the pdp or yourself up, that is my question which is a vicious statement which is a vicious statement. mr bhart the question asked to you Why by rashid you are speaking on behalf of the pdp simple. or yourself you are speaking on behalf of the pdp do you know what then why do the people why does abdul ghani bhart after he meets your party's patron in chief go that? out and make a political statement about government formation oh God. after a meeting are with friends why are you talking about government formation or to, to ally with whom or not and sambit patra i want to bring you in at this point you very come conveniently at the beginning of the debate said that i believe it was a social call and i just like to Just wait. Do you Do you think before himself? allying with the PDP, if that happens, if that alliance does shape uh, take shape eventually, you should make it a precondition that the PDP should come clean on what was the agenda of this meeting, what was the purpose, yes. what was the content, what went on exactly between <coughs> these two gentlemen? Because in the past, you made your stand very is. clear on engagement with separatists. See, Padmaja. All yeah, I would say is the key word to the debate of Jammu and Kashmir government first, formation please. is "pish." L listen to him first. No, 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 Dr. Patra, go ahead. Up. Mr. Bhatt, please wait on. Yes, the listen BJP BJP first. spokesperson is speaking. Yes, yes, Dr. Patra. All I was Why saying is the key. Inference? The key Why word is inference? patience. We all need to have patience. I would not preempt any relation as of, of now. No, no, we are not preempting anything. We are not preempting anything. All we are saying no. is, before you tie up with this party, if you do, make it very clear. If you've gone and supped with the separatists, See, make I it very clear what statement. happened in that meeting. Padmaja, I made my opening statement absolutely clear that Bharatiya Janata Party would never ever believe in any dictation by the separatist forces. In fact, in this very election of Jammu and Kashmir, the separatist forces have been defeated in a way which was historic. People came out of their houses and they voted against the boycott so, call given by the separatists. Sanjay Shah, so, do you think that should be a precondition? Sanjay Shah, 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 But our 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 standards. Let us not preempt as to how the government has been. No, no one is you know, preempting. But Sanjay, Sanjay Shah, it seems it is very convenient to just accept what the PDP is saying at face value that it was just a friendly meeting between two people. There was no political context to it at all because it just serves everyone very very conveniently at this point. Uh, well, Sanjay Sanjay the truth is that the BJP had a very open understanding with Sajad Lone anyway in Kashmir. So I, I'm I'm very surprised about how you know BJP spokesperson Mr. Patra is having a very very different no, view. What's, of what's the right problem now. if Sajad Lone comes back to the BJP mainstream politics? The truth is that the BJP has today I an mean, alternative option of a grand alliance. I mean, rather that's a victory of the mainstream alliance. politics of the, the country. The question is, is the question is, can, can I speak? Our can I speak without your interruption? The point I'm making here is the point I'm making here. is that the that the grand alliance is an alternative option for the pdp to explore the truth is that no, sanjay you sir you are taking the wrong example because votes, dr patra has a has a valid point when he asks you if Jammu a separatist comes back to the so mainstream minute, why does the congress have a problem with that can i can i just make one point no that's what he is asking you when that you take fact, the example of sajad loan is a separatist who has come back to the mainstream would you welcome that or do you have a problem with that sir that's exactly the stance that the pdp takes so the 
No, no, no. What stance does the PDP take? The same stance no, no. the PDP is taking the BJP. Sir, I am not talking about Mehbooba Mufti so talking to Sajjad Lo. The, the, the issue is Mufti Mohammad Sayyid the, the sitting and having tea with Abdul Ghani, but who continues to maintain his separatist stance. He talking. believes that mainstream politics you know, is the best way. What is the stand of Congress in this? You uh, are giving Anand, example of Sajjad Lo and answer me on this. Without an interruption for a minute. My my yes. main point, I, I, I think I think the Bharatiya Janata Party recognizes that his mission 44 was a dismal flop. Now it has to be a junior partner to the PDP. I don't think the Bharatiya Janata Party can set any terms. Now the PDP obviously is extremely concerned. Sanjay, because introspective, introspective about the Congress. In, don't in, in think BJP, too much about Bharatiya Janata Party. RSS driven That's the reason no, are you objecting to India. the BJP and it PDP tying up Sanjay you are thinking about because Bharati you think Janta they are ideologically Bharati different or, or because you don't agree with the ideology of the PDP? Do you not agree with the ideology of the PDP and the kind of you know, meetings Anand, that they're having with separatists no, and Jaijar? Is that the, the problem? The larger issue is not just BJP in Jammu and Kashmir. You got to look at BJP all over India. No, no, let's focus Sanjay on the Sanjay PDP. Come here. to the point, please. Yeah, yeah, you know, when, we, when you get your minute, when you get your minute, you, 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 you stretch the debate the wrong way. My question to you is, my question to you is, why did you rake up the issue of Sajjad Loan? Somebody who's a separatist in the past now so has come back to the mainstream. You have a problem with that. My question to you is, why is it that you're not very, very upset with the PDP sitting and engaging with a separatist leader, a confirmed separatist leader who's come and maintained He's also called the Mirwais group of action had called for a boycott of the polls. Now, why is the Congress not have a very strong point about engaging with separatists? Is it because that's also okay with the Congress? Well, we do have a point of view. What if, no, no, Anand, what am I saying? This is the PDP's call. The PDP has an option of a grand alliance. You have the NC spokesperson talking about an unconditional support. So is the Congress. Now the PDP has two options. Whether you go with the grand alliance with the NC and no, the where Congress, do the separatists come in the picture? Of the party. Why, why the reason to engage with the separatists? Why why the separatists? Why 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 the separatists? 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 It's a Why PDP Congress is showing this disparation Whether they of power. want to go with a hardline Hindutva party like the Bharatiya Janata Party, which actually fought the election as a no. Jambu versus Kashmir. So, where do the separatist leaders Jambu come in? Read, read don't no, Sanjay, where do the separatist leaders come in in this call? We are, we they are, are nowhere are the stakeholders seats. in a democratic we process. Have a, we are a so, Sanjay has said on record we are that it is not okay to engage with separatists. Development and progress. No, no, you say and it on record, irrespective of any party, not it's answer. not okay to engage with deny. separatists, especially well, when you're talking Anand, about forming a government. Anand, Anand, Anand can I make a point, please? Sanjay will not answer this. this. Well, ask you, as you may, Anand, but Sanjay will never Anand, answer let this me tell because you, Sanjay is feeling let me tell you, that there is a let chance tell you, that all of them will lie together to know his essential facts. The Congress party won seats in Jammu. The Congress party won seats in Ladakh. The Congress party won seats in the Kashmir Valley. Please know no, these but Sanjay Shah, we are Mata. not we are you not talking about we the poll results and trying to decode them no, over no. here. What we are asking no, very simply is that you, are, are, you have a problem with meeting Muhammad Said, meeting Abdul Ghani Bhatt, the then why are you okay with tying up with the PDP and the National Conference to form a grand alliance? It should be equally uh, reprehensible to you that they are having this kind of conversation that don't tie up with them. Well, what don't have the Grand Alliance with them. This is the PDP's judgment call. No, no, I, we, are, are we, we are not engaging. So, I so if they engage with the BJP party, also, it's a PDP's judgment call, but you're critical of it. Of the no, no, Sanjay Jha, so the, the Congress is critical of a possible judgment PDP, call that could be made by the PDP the of allying with sorry? the BJP. But you are not critical of a judgment call made by the PJP, PDP of engaging with the Huryat. Or with That's a separatist right. leader. So, well, there, there is a dichotomy in your point and your position. How is that possible? Because the PDP, because the PDP National Conference and Congress may be politically competitive, but we have a more common ground. Please. So, please so that is why, that is why you will say it is okay if you engage with a separatist Mr. Mr. PDP or dear yeah, PDP Mr. Mr. Mufti Mohammad Sahih. But don't engage with him because party. you don't agree. What, what the is the logic here? Janta Party is one which is playing a Hindu You have a problem agenda. with a party why which is a stakeholder in a democratic process engaging with another party which is a stakeholder in a democratic process. You don't have a problem with a party engaging with somebody who's got 
nothing strange to do with the democratic that process. on the one I hand the congress would outrage now, about this called. engagement between the pdp patron in yeah. chief and yes. abdul ghani but yes. but would have no compunctions yes. about tying up with that very same yes. party if it, it were to be a grand alliance against the you bjp see, you see congress yeah congress's grapes are terribly sour that is why sanjay ja keeps you know digressing the so debate from one end to, to another you know. having said that i have no love loss for sajjad loan but sajjad loan has accepted constitution of india he is standing in these elections but the huriyat has not that is the essential difference between a sajjad loan and a huriyat the hmm. huriyat have asked for boycott of polls of the polls sajjad loan has has come and stood in these polls he may have won one or two seats that's okay but to compare a sajjad loan today with a huriyat is is being you know un uh, he is possibly doesn't understand what kashmir means and to take this you know not criticizing huria uh, sorry pdp because sanjay ja believes that there could be an off chance of them collaborating with uh, pdp to form government so he he cannot obviously criticize them right now that's his problem no but that hmm. that should not that that is a very very uh, uh, contrarian view that the congress is taking on on two similar well, grounds well, no no sanjay ja my my PDP problem with with the congress's position no, tonight here on the news are is, is very straight forward and please allow me to make this point the fact is that there is a there is a party which is part of a democratic process it's a stakeholder in the process democratic process of jammu and kashmir there is another party which is also a stakeholder if they engage with each other the congress have a problem because they believe they are ideologically different but the congress is okay with a stakeholder in a democratic process engaging with somebody who's got nothing who to do with congress this process to who's that? objected to who, this process who is congress to decide that yeah no no and how can the congress take that position uh, uh, anand anand you missed the point I Anand, you missed the point. How does Congress determine? PDP has a problem. Is Congress giving certificates of ideology? If we all missed the point. You would have had a government. That it is your way of speaking which is faulted. Not our hearing. Not our hearing. Grapes are sour. I think you are missing the woods for the trees. No, it's you not, are missing the whole point altogether. This point. Congress, oh Congress has come to a state that anybody with whom it can align with to stay on in power or stay on in some semblance of contention of government formation, whatever the day is, is okay. Whatever they do is okay. Who has to tie up with whom? As long as they don't. Engage with the BJP. They can go and engage with anybody. The Congress won't care. Is that the position that the Congress is taking today? Well, Sanjay, well, is that the position you you're the taking BJP today? That as long as they don't engage with the BJP, the BJP, they can go and engage with anybody. Dilute Article 370. Are they going to? Are they not going to press for? May I ask you this? Court? May are I ask you, Sanjay Jha? What do you want? About? You well, want a party to engage with separatists or a party to work with another party on a common minimum program to give Jammu and Kashmir a stable government? BJP is such a political opportunist party. So what is the Congress? What is the Congress? And what is the Congress? That is what the Congress is all saying. Expose yourself. What the is the Congress? Is Anjay, the is well, with all due respect, Anjay, the kind of exactly arguments you've been giving over the last don't 30 minutes, they reek as much of opportunism as the opportunism you're accusing. Well said, Mr. Jha. I'm just coming to Dr. Kapoor. I've been listening to all of you. A stable and a strong government in the state. No, you want a stable and a strong government, but at point? what cost? On the one hand, it, it you cannot stand the fact that the PDP would try and engage with the separatists, but you're okay with them as long as they are going to help you put up an alliance against the BJP. If that is not opportunism, then what is, Sanjay Jha? Padma Jha, Congress could ally with a party which no, no, had listen, sympathies towards NTTE. What do you expect of the with Congress? With the, with the there was a Jain Commission report which and, said and that one of the political parties the had sympathies for LTTE, the ones who murdered no, Rajiv Gandhi, that there was the ones no who killed Rajiv Gandhi. Between them, with them, Congress them formed government. What are you talking of? Okay, so, so at least now ideology. there is consensus. The Rashmi, care now there is consensus between power. the BJP and the Congress no, both. But, but, that it was know, purely a social call. No, that I, a social yeah, call yeah, was paid no, I, I by Mufti Muhammad Said to Abdul Kani Bhai. So at least there is a meeting point over there. But Junaid Matu, I want to get you in at this point. There is also another stream of thought that perhaps Mr. Bhatt was an intermediary to try and cobble together this grand alliance to try and tell the PDP because we had the Congress spokesperson earlier, the regional spokesperson, uh, Mr. Rashid Chaudhary, saying. that the pdp and the bjp cannot go together maybe mr bhat was trying to convey the impression that it would be against the interests of kashmir that such an alliance should be formed and maybe that's the idea that he was conveying to uh, mr mufti mohammad said a grand alliance that your national conference will also be part of we have we have no information to suggest that and uh, 
I mean, whatever transpired between them, that is between the PDP and uh, Professor Bhatt. Uh, that has nothing to do uh, with us. So our opinion on that uh, would be reserved because we don't know what transpired between them. Right. Okay. Well, running out of time on the debate. Just one final question to Dr. Patra here. Dr. Patra, your government, the BJP-led NDA government, or the, stop the talks or engagement with Pakistan because Pakistan was engaging with separatists. Today, as for as of now, the official position of the PDP is it was a social call. The engagement between Mufti Mohammad Saeed and Abdul Ghani Bhatt. But the voices from the other side, the statement from the other side is quite the contrary. What will be the BJP's position if tomorrow you come to know that indeed there was consultation, there was engaging with separatists in terms of formation of government in Jammu and Kashmir, what to do going ahead? What will be the BJP's position, sir? In a single line, in a single line, I would say the Bharatiya Janata Party's call is always the national cause. We always stand by the national cause. We will never take dictation by any separatist forces, come whatsoever. So as far as whatever reason they answer were meeting the with the separatists, I mean the PDP was meeting with the separatists, the PDP alone can answer. And as of now in this debate at least I am not seeing the PDP spokesperson standing by the separatists and saying that they were taking any kind of dictations from the separatists. If the voice changes, maybe we will have a second debate. Well, obviously, you cannot expect the PDP spokesperson to say, yes, we were talking about government formation, we were taking dictation from the separatists. But okay, if you're saying a national call, we will get you more details of what transpired in that meeting and we'll hold you to that promise that you will not take any sort of direction from the separatists on government formation in Jammu and Kashmir. Completely out of time. Thank you very much, Junaid Matu, uh, Rashni Kher, Sanjay Jha, Sambit Patra and Mr. Bhatt for joining us on this debate.